Hello and welcome to a Words with Model Railway YouTube video. In today's video I would like to show how easy it is to construct a line side electrical box. Now this item is very easy to construct and I will take you through the basic building techniques during this video. So the first thing we need is some 2mm thick card. This is some offcuts that I had just lying around. You will then need to download the cover strips. Now these aren't on the website just yet. Uh, I hope to have these uploaded uh, by Friday, Saturday at the latest. And each sheet will allow you to build 25 electrical boxes and also included just in case you need something to stand them on are some sub bases. Now on the printed sheet right at the top you will see a little square. This is the template that we will use to make our two millimeter card cutouts. Not wanting to bore you with the cutting out, here is the template that we will use. Now we have the template, it's just simply two millimeter card template line it up with the edge using your pencil just mark a little line at the edge of the card and paper down to the bottom line it up mark the line use a steel rule put the steel rule against the two marker lines then using your craft knife always let the knife do the cutting don't apply too much pressure as this is where injuries will occur when the blade could slip and there we have it I always put the blade away and there's the paper template and there's the card now the next task is just like before there's the card there's the template, square it up so it's right on the edge and square, use the pencil and just gently draw your pencil down along the paper forming the line and that's your first one and because we need two of these for each electrical box just offer up the template again to the line square it up to the edge again and mark the second line and we will now just cut these out to give us our two sections okay we've now got our two sections cut all we need to do is glue this one onto here to form the basic structure which we will wrap around the printed sheets. Okay, I've now glued the two pieces together and that gives the sub base. Right, our next task is to get the printed sheet 
and decide which box you want to use for the covering strip. I want one of these green ones so I need to cut out this to cover the card and then I need this which gives the front door section to the electrical box. Okay we've now got our three components the card sub base, the printed box covering strip and the front door. What we need to do now is get this cover strip wrapped round the card sub base. So turn the cover strip over so it's printed side down. I like to use my little print stick for this one. Apply a nice coat onto the paper. Then get the card and place it onto the section like so. Then the first task fold over the top like so. then fold over the left side and wrap it round fold over the right side wrap it round square it all up and it is as simple as that. Now the next task is the door covering. Place printed side down use the print stick to apply glue Get the box and then just offer up the door section trying to square it up as best you can and you have one electrical signal box or oh, should I say electrical box Okay, we've made the box. Let's uh, make the box base. Now, the sheet comes with these ones, which you can place a single box onto. These ones will accept two boxes side by side. So, uh, let's cut out one of these, and this is made exactly in the same way using two mil card but in this particular occasion you only need one piece so I'll go ahead and cut that out so we've got our card base and our cover strip what we will do now is wrap this 
round this forming the sub base. So apply glue as before using a print stick get the cardstock place it centrally on the cover strip then wrap round one end and then the other end and then fold down the flaps either side one base to place on the electrical box here's a close-up of the finished item I hope you feel like me it has been well worth the build thank you for watching and I hope you appreciate this new kit. To complete this little video I would like to show the water tower that will be featured on my other layout Argyle Road. Note how I've got the two electrical boxes one at the side and one at the front of the water tower. Here we have a closer inspection of the water tower showing some of the detailing around the kit.